Y254. Imagine. The hashtag as always, the stand KE at Ramaguko at Y254 channel. Remember, it's all about the BBI and uh, the political ramifications about that, that are uh, going to be brought about by this document. Do we expect political realignments? Do you expect fresh, and I do mean fresh, on an alternative leadership because of this BBI? Give us your take. Give us your thoughts as you continue. Remember, we are also live on our website at www.y254.co.ke. Our Facebook platform is also up and running. There's a question that has been put there. Make sure that you head over to our Facebook page at Y254 and drop your comments in regards to this discussion on Twitter and on Facebook. We shall be sampling them up as we continue with this conversation tonight. Now, gentlemen, um, I would like my, my director bring up the, the uh, there's a tweet by the DP, what he said. Uh, once it's ready, let, let me know. But let me quote John Mbadi. He said this, and I quote, uh, 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 all right, the, the tweet on, on, on Ruta is up. All right, let's, let's get to this first. Conrad, not as easy as you think, my friends. Scaling the stairs while chewing gum will, will do without a problem. It's never too late to do the right thing. Tremendous progress achieved. Consensus on remaining issues and process so as to have non-divisive vote <laughs> best option. John Buddy say this. Ruto is just cornered. There is nothing like change of strategy. If he has seen sense, then he should go out there and support the BBI. We want to see him campaign for the BBI, especially in regions we made believe that he made believe that BBI document was bad. <laughs> Your response, no, 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 check up. Uh, is know, the DP cornered? You know, uh, William Ruto is a very smart politician. Mm. And I want to quote him. He said, he has a constitutional duty to support his boss. Yes. His boss is the president of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable mm. Uru Mugai Kenyatta, mm. who is leading a constitutional reform moment with Raila Odinga. And therefore, if we to follow constitution to the latter, then William Ruto should be assisting the president in undertaking this initiative. Because he's also part of cabinet. And the authority of the president, he occupies that authority under the assistance of the cabinet and himself. And to go back to what you have asked, mm. is he cornered or not? I think he's conflicted because Kina okay. Ruto <laughs> is looking at one year to election. Mm. He's wondering, there's a constitutional amendment that is coming. Do I put my energy into a constitutional amendment or do I wait for 2022 and contest? But fortunately, if you ask me my personal opinion as Frederick Okango, mm. the greatest beneficiary who must now support this constitutional amendment with all his might and will, mm. will be, is William Bruto because he stands to benefit. He has the energy, he, and, and this one can help me. You ask a very good question. Are there going to be political formations? Yes. Mm. Every constitutional initiative that comes to this magnitude creates a for political formation, especially if it is a curtain raiser to a national election. Now, Therefore, Ngu Honorable Ngujiru Ambugu said this, and I quote, he was given two years to, prevent, to present his views, but he didn't. He used the BBI to oppose his boss. Ruto had no choice but to join the winning team. And that is uh, <laughs> uh, 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 what uh, I wonder, is either Ruto had no choice? You're saying that he's conflicted? I you think agree? he's conflicted. Jes Jesira? My question would, to Gunjiri would be, and this is not the position of Kenya Youth Alliance, mm. personal opinion, is did we expect William Ruto to contradict his boss in written? Definitely you can do that on a political rally, but you don't expect that to be done in written because essentially it would uh, translate to what Kina Gunjiri have been looking for in mm. subordination. Okay. So... In regards to his tweet eh, and his political position at the moment, as Fred has said, the DP benefits the most with the changes in BBI. And for him, it is a time that he has to choose to support or not to support <laughs> based on his political interests. One, if he supports, it, it stands to win and lose some supporters. Mm -hmm. Because there are some supporters that who believe that he should strongly oppose. And Kenyans would love to see a no and yes mm -hmm. campaign. Now, 
that would make him lose some supporters who would tend to say that he is a coward. Mm. On the other hand, if he says no and does not support it and gains the minimum amount of votes, whether m uh, rigged or not, mm. that would also taint his political ambition. Because if Ruto, Ruto has, a, he has created a perception that he is a strong politician with a mass following across the country, if therefore he goes on to say no and gets 3 million votes out of 10 million votes, mm. that means his presidential ambition is seriously curtailed. So is it, is, is it possible that uh, Ruto's, uh, okay, this, this change that we are, uh, mm -hmm. we are seeing, mm -hmm. because his demands were, were met, so the shift was uh, easy. Remember, um, at some point he said that after post bombers, some um, amendments were made yes. to the document. Actually, he gave five, uh, five areas that he needed to be amended. Yeah. And it, now, uh, could, uh, that, uh, could uh, that be a reason why we are seeing you, this? Let me tell you. William Ruto, as I said, is a very smart politician. But he has acknowledged that the Hustler Nation are now accommodated in the proposal to amend mm. the Constitution. And he quoted an article in the BBI Constitution Amendment 2020, Article 11, that says that there shall be an economic environment that provides equitable opportunity. And that, in that, we have pastoralism, agriculture, and all other forms of livelihood as a way of sustainable development. So, Hustler Nation is within that. And therefore, in my view, William Ruto acknowledges that the BBI process, the BBI Constitutional Amendment, is an amendment that accommodates the people that support him most who are the hustlers. So, so in my view, tomorrow uh, is Wednesday. Yes. We are told that he's having a meeting tomorrow with some of his advisors. Yes, and, uh, yes is in a call. Mm. I predict this, and you can take it to the bank. Okay. Uh -huh. He will <laughs> say that if that document meets the issues that we raised, then we should support it. And he will not that come out and say we are supporting, but he'll say we should support it. Okay. My friend Rama, the, I simple, predict that. the simple prediction that uh, yeah. Fred is making mm. would come to be true, because what is the definition of consensus? It means Cons what we want has been given to us. It means a general, it means argument. general what argument. Can we meet at the middle? Given. So we met at the middle. Now, he gave five issues to be addressed. Three have been addressed. Only two are remaining. And those two are subjective because the office of the Ombudsman is something that can be legislated in terms of process of selecting the Ombudsman Absolutely. to make sure that it is not about tokenism. Honorable uh, uh, Sholei Shole said this, I noticed that, and I quote, mm -hmm. I noticed that a lot of the proposals raised by the DP at Bomas have been incorporated, which are very welcome. Mm -hmm. The Senate has also been given <laughs> more powers. <laughs> now. <laughs> okay. Can I go first? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I want that. I, I want that. By um, their fruits, you will know them. You will <laughs> <laughs> what, these, before, before you what these people are sending, they're preparing ground for an endorsement. And you can read. I listened to Duali. Duali said the other time, the pastoral issues have been addressed. Shulei here is saying most of the issues they raised have been addressed. Even Senator Lenamo Lekina said yes, that the, the, it has been addressed. has been a strong advocate of the two-thirds gender principle. In fact, she has a bill in parliament. Here is a situation where this is a constitutional principle and the bill is attempting to address it. It has never been addressed. I don't think that mm. Shule and the team will reject this bill. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I also agree. I also agree because uh, why I ask the definition of consensus is about us meeting at the middle. Uh, it would be so hypocritical for the deputy president to <clears throat> be claiming that he's looking for consensus, yet... In that middle of looking for consensus, mm. three of your five issues have been addressed and you reject that document. You can never have There's everything. There is no way you can reject it. Because there is no way. More because than 50%. Now, the political game here mm. might be from the BBI side. But now, let me... Because, <laughs> because let, me, let, me, let me substantiate that. Mm. Because the, at first, they used to say 
there is nothing that would be changed in the document, only words and even a comma. Let me tell you, when Today. those things were changed, the police commission was uh, dropped. Mm -hmm. uh, the party's representation on uh, in, in, IBC. in IBC was dropped. Now, at what point now again would you go ahead and oppose? Because what you strongly because those were the two three two strong points. That even myself, I had contentious with. Now, now today, I'm aware this morning you had a presser. Yes. At uh, Serena? Yes. Um, what is the stand on the Kenya Youth Alliance? Just um, in a nutshell, on, on this BBI and that, that presser, what was it all about? I, I, there, there was a statement that was given out. I, I, I went through it. But uh, your stand? As Kenya Youth Alliance, we're saying, mm. we cannot endorse a political in any in the entire process mm. because we want to engage experts go through the document because we also want to engage the economic experts we want to engage the legal experts mm. so that when we are moving around the country because f from next week or the week thereafter we will be doing consultative bba forums across mm. the country as kya as kya okay. engaging the youth we together with our experts that we will get mm. because we want them to understand what is in it that they can get from this document so do you support the and BBA? what is negative from it do you support at the, the moment as kya we are saying mm. let's be let us be given time as youth to go through this document so that we cannot rubber stamp something that we don't understand the time is elapsing. <laughs> the time is elapsing, will, but will, will you the sign? Time, will you give your signatures? My signature I will not give, but I would proceed so you to vote. Because, as I said, the process has been rushed. The process has been rushed. Any changes that you make, it is courteous enough to give me time to internalize, process, and reflect upon them. Your Thursday is the, uh, the, 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 know, is the deadline know, of collection of the signatures. signatures. Yes, DP Ruto said that uh, is one of the scientists are is a scientist and is one of the slow learners. Yeah. Yes. And today, as the chief hustler, who is the chief slow learner, who is the chief scientist, mm. he has come out and said, "We have reached consensus." So I would have expected that anyone. Who is, unless there are other slower learners. Mm. But anyway, the issue <laughs> so is... You, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not saying... I'm no, not saying that, so can I just, just interject? <laughs> Go ahead. Can I just interject? Yeah, yes, you yes. know, when 2010 constitution was being amended, yes. yes, there were so many documents that were thrown across the country mm. for Kenyans to read because it was a government initiative. Kiliti, the same... Gomas, yes, yes. The same... <laughs> the same for this, government... Uh, is still driving the agenda. Mm. How many documents have you seen in the village? You know, we have to be sincere with ourselves. Yes, we can pass the referendum. Um, yes, I but was was it mm. D David D who said this? That uh, no, 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 not, not him. Mm -hmm. um, one of the political analysts mm -hmm. said that at this time and era, this time and age, for someone to say that they do not, they have not read the BBI report, uh, it will be an insult because we are in a technical tec technological era where it is available on soft copy. People have <laughs> smartphones. And so that is what the are you problem. saying as a young man? That who you uses need, social media you need more time. has a lot of bundles <laughs> and lives on WhatsApp where the document is circulating. No, I will come is, to you. Can I, will come. Come. I will come to you can because, Fred, from can Fred, because he's strongly advocating for the <laughs> same. Can you give us statistics of how many youth within the remote areas of this country access those internet? In fact, there are sub regions in this country where to get even a 3G. <laughs> it's quite difficult. <laughs> they must. The government should not abdicate its role of facilitating I'm aware and KYA, creating. Uh, you, you will not put uh, put your signature on the document. At the moment, I, we will I, not I will, because I will, I will the time has surpassed us. We will just strongly advise KYA mm. to read the document from the time it was launched in Kisi all the way to Bomas. The reason why they should do that as young people, as youth, is mm. because what is the benefit of the young people? in the BBI constitutional amendment process. Number one, the Kenyan people, the young people have had problems. Their challenges of underemployment, joblessness, lack of opportunity have now been centralized into a youth commission mm. that is better than the National Youth Council because now they shall be the members and they shall run that. They shall propose legislative policy administrative issues are 
to all counties and the national level so that the issues of the young people can be addressed. Mm. Number two, majority of the young people who get the advantage to go to the university, they pass, they come out looking for jobs and they are not able to pay the help. They have been given a moratorium of four years. I was reading today, difference of 1.5 million Kenyan young people, they are not able to pay. Mm. But now you are given a moratorium of four years. Number three, we have seen the World Development Fund that is going all the way to the villages where the majority of the young people are, mm -hmm. creating what is called um, incubation hubs and uh, provision of industrialization, water, food, like all of those things. The beneficiaries of this industrialization process will be young people, and therefore, no. I would urge them endorse this mm -hmm. so that you can now give your members an opportunity to benefit from its fruits. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you shall be considered somebody who was sitting on the fence and when the fruits come, you enjoy. Like I've seen now one of the leaders who was saying no the other time. Mm -hmm. Today, saying, he's saying we are protecting yes. the question. Uh, Why? And, and uh, I, I will, you'll, you'll have a right to respond. Okay, uh, um, director, bring up those um, comments. These are on uh, Facebook. Uh, Pauline Anasema, you say that no one has been forced, yet the chiefs are taking advantage of a youth financial <laughs> state like I have friends of mine Mm -hmm. who are forced by the chief to sign up for BBI since they won't be paid their salary for cleaning services. Huh. I've seen that rumor going around on social media. But th this is they, someone who is saying... It's an allegation. Let him, proceed, go, let, let him proceed to Kiambu Road. You know where Karura Forest is? Uh -huh. Proceed to Kiambu Road. Report that. That, is, that. I mean, that should not happen. She should Without due respect, it should not happen. No one should be forced. And I don't think there's anyone who's being... You know, Kenyans, let's understand. Mm. The issue here is, have we read the document? Do we agree with it or not? And even if people don't append their signatures, they shall come a time at the referendum, the final public participation of a constitution process, that you say yes or no. That time, Kenyans will speak. Uh, the Pusta Munua, yes, yes. The Third Way Alliance, as I know of it, and Fred is a friend of mine, I've met him several years. I don't know if he knows me. Yeah? <laughs> but one thing that I'm cautious about is the way he's rubbishing Kenyans. I'm not. Because I'm not. we should be cautious when we take sides. Mm. I don't know you're if what sitting, she's saying... You're not sitting on the fence. As I'm not is. sitting at the fence. I'm saying uh. we will engage as fast as possible uh. our youth across the country uh. to help them and also so that they can guide us arrive at an informed and opinionated decision. And this? Yes. For this... They are being forced. They are being forced. In our statement, we acknowledge that youth are the vulnerable. And it, the government might take or any other political persuasion of the BBI. Do you believe this allegation? I cannot rubbish it. It is someone. Oh, oh, it is a social media. I, like, I, I like the fact that you're saying it's an allegation. It's, it it takes this point. As an allegation. I don't, I don't have and and as an allegation. <laughs> I do not have evidence. But <laughs> he doesn't have evidence to the contrary. No, no, that's what I'm saying. If it is indeed happening, it's unfortunate. It should never happen. You know, let, 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 let's hear what Pista Mjona Sama. Are they, um, as they are using money with BBI and also wasting money, they should use the money to care for doctors and COVID-19 patients. I cannot vote yes or no because in some cases it's good, but I have not read. Use Munya, Munya for from uh, Sagana. Let's uh, keep other uh, comments coming in. Frank that, Mugo, that, that's BBI? an admission. Huh? Self-admission Self that he has not read. So he can't come <laughs> Frank Mugo, so BBI is used to as a political bridge towards 2022. Uh, that's why I resist BBI. Generally, Kelonzo, well tuned in, representing 3560. Namgotea Arif Yangu Masi Queen Akiwa Kikuyu. Prince Jupiter, yes to BBI. Saddam Solomon, Y254, Hunibamba Mbaya. Saddam Solomon, <laughs> Baba Lao. But <laughs> George, <laughs> these are youth stations. <laughs> you know, you know, Raman. Uh, if you listen to most of these people, I mm. appreciate their feedback. I appreciate their comment. And yes, yes. I want to believe most of them are young people who are watching this show. Yes, for the young it's why two five four. It's very admirable. Mm -hmm. But I want to encourage them. Mm. If we don't read this document, we shall not know what there is in. If we don't read this document, we shall not make an informed decision. Now, let us not wait for politicians. Let read it and make an informed choice. Let but as somebody who has read it as a young person, mm. I want to persuade them that this document stands a chance to benefit 
young people more than it stands a chance to benefit the old because of the issues that I have enumerated. And I ask them, even if you don't agree with them, even if you don't agree with it, read it first. Using his own words, huh? thank you for agreeing with Kenya Youth Alliance. We are saying, can we read the document and understand it before we make a decision? Make now, a decision from an informed perspective. And don't allow any politician, including Fred, <laughs> to decide for you. <laughs> don't allow now, them. Let me read for yourself. Let me touch on, uh, on you, Fred. Let yes, me yes, come yes. to you. Yes. Uh, because now, at, at least I've, uh, I have touched on KYA. <laughs> let me touch on Tadwe Alliance. Go ahead. Absolutely. TAK. Yes. The Pungusa Mizigo Bill had proposed a raft of changes. Yes. Uh, including having the president. 21 in total. 21 in, to in total. Mm -hmm. Including Which having were the, the, the narrowed down to 15 to in 15. the amendment. Yes. Um, the, one of them was that the president was to serve a single seven that year term. Okay. That was Pungusa Mizigo 1. Pungusa Mizigo 1. Pungusa Mizigo 2, it is not there. It, it's, not, it's not there. Yes. Now, um, but uh, one thing that was there was re re reduction in the number of representations. Correct. Now, um, does this BBI. Mm -hmm. Uh, promote the proposals that were there in the Pumuza Musical. BBI has adopted nine out of the 15 issues that we raised in Pumuza Musical. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, we were the first political party that initiated Pumuza Musical and said we must now measure development from bottoms up. And today, BBI has adopted the World Development Fund. We said it. They mm -hmm. have given it at least 5%. That means ensuring the provision of the socioeconomic rights in Article 43 now shall start from the world level. They shall be measured. And Number uh, two, yes. we propose strengthening our devolution. BBI is saying, mm -hmm. let us increase the funds that is going to the counties to at least 35%. Read Punguza Mizigo. It is there. Mm -hmm. BBI says, let us ensure that we end the historic injustice against women by ensuring that we achieve the two-thirds gender principle. Punguza Mizigo said the same. BBI is saying the same. BBI said, let us strengthen our institutions, judiciary, IBC, parliament. You know, today, all those things have been factored in. I can dare say here today, mm. constitutional amendments are negotiated processes. And therefore, we are not having a monopoly of knowledge, but we can work together where our ideas converge. Mm. We might not agree with everything in that document, but yeah. for the fact that the certain issues that were endorsed by 1.2 million Kenyans, strengthening devolution, mm. strengthening parliament, judiciary, fighting theft of public money, which BBI is today is saying, let us expedite trial, prosecution, now. and you know, hearing of these economic crimes. I mean, really, Kenyans must now understand that for there is an attempt to make us go to the other side, which is greener. You yes, know? You, you, you mentioned that. You mentioned the, the, the 35%. Yes. And uh, that is good. Honorable um, Owen Bayer, Member of Parliament for Kilifi North. Correct. He said this, and I quote, If we are going to have a parliament with 650 MPs, then there is no meaningful representation. Where is, Can I ask where, the 35%? Where is, percent, the, where is he getting the 600? Let, 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 let me Honorable finish. Bayer, okay, finish. The, the 35% <laughs> to counties will not make any sense if the horizontal formula for distribution is against us. Can I ask him yes, in conjunction with that? Yes, because yes. in any initiative... There is a core objective, then other objectives. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Punguza Mizigo, even the name itself, Punguza, reduce the weight. It burden. is derived reduce from the reduce the, the okay. burden. Yes. Okay? And in their own proposal, they were proposing we go back to 290, 210. No, that's not Punguza Mizigo. No, we said 194. 194. They were saying we slash back. Mm. Okay? Yes. The current proposal is we increase. <coughs> are, are we saying that you are foregoing your very main objective and agreeing no, no, with that one, which so contradicts so yourself? Is it contradictory? I'm, I'm, I'm giving you right to respond, Okamo. Yes, yes. um, in, in connection to that, yes. if the whole idea was reduce the burden, yes. does the BBI reduce the burden? The question is, where is the greatest burden? And I want to start from there. Tell us. The greatest burden in this country is the economic burden. The economic burden to the extent that in the villages, women walk a thousand kilometers looking for water. Mm -hmm. Women walk 
150 kilometers looking for health care. Women walk 100 kilometers, children looking for schools. That is the economic burden. And that's why we say it, in Punguza in that burden, we must take services closer to the people by increasing the county allocation to at least 35 and getting the world development fight so that you start measuring development and, and you feel the, the representation burden, doesn't affect... Wait, I'm coming to representation. Mm. The other burden is the burden of corruption, theft of public money, the greatest burden. Now, we have seen this country lose a third of its budget to theft. BBI and Punguza Mziko today are saying, let us expedite the processes of trial and prosecution so that these cases can end faster and also punish severely the thieves of public money that is lowering the money. Now, let's go mm -hmm. to representation. The Constitution amendment also helps in implementation. The reason why we have never achieved to, uh, uh, to, 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 to comply with the principle of fair representation that is based on equality of vote is because our population keeps going up. Previously, we used to say we are 47 million. Today, we, we are 45 million. Today, we are 47 million plus. How do you represent a section of people that is 500 with only one member of parliament who receives 100 million with the same person in a constituency in Lamu who receives the same but representing 43,000 people? It is not fair. The Constitution of Kenya in Article 81 says that there must be fair representation. It is a constitutional I, principle. I, I still don't and understand therefore, how. And uh, therefore, yes. the issue is not in representation. Uh -huh. You can have even a thousand representatives, but cap their salary. If you read the BBI, they have amended Article 230. Oh, okay. That now harmonizes. The, the number of, uh, no, of no, no, legislators no, no, no. affects the, the, no, the amount of money. But to what extent is it greater than the 450 billion that we lose as a country every election cycle? Okay. I'm putting one man. Ram, I don't want to argue that corruption do not swell our country. Mm. Actually, it is the greatest takeaway of Kenyan money. But I want to be in, on record saying that indeed adding MPs would have an economic and impact on our current wage bill. Explain to me like a two-year-old. Okay. <laughs> that one, if you're paying an uh, MP and 50 million, 100 million per year, how much would you pay an extra 100? The, Secondly, the, the, no, the, let, let, let me no, finish. Wait a minute, I let know. me finish. Does the Constitution put the wage that you pay a member of parliament okay now, it does um, not but uh, i wanted to i wanted to make uh, this i, I, I wanted to make this point Ram, make, make a point i wanted to we make this point Ram, yes yes that why what would be the impact mm. of all these constitutional amendments mm. if the current constitution is not being implemented to the latter okay at the now. moment we are talking of 15 percent mm -hmm. yet even as we speak the counties have not received the entire of that money. Now you're talking of 35% to be removed. We cannot allow Will that go. not increase uh, our uh, taxation? Now, um, I, I, I want us to, to just touch on, on uh, just one, one, one final thing briefly, um, because I know Abo, where we touched on can take us the whole night. So, <laughs> <laughs> because I remember, Kamo, you, when you are proposing the, uh, the Pumuza Mizigo, we are I, proposing. I, I, I hosted you once and you gave me calculations about how much MPs earn. Yes, you, you calculated yes, on that. And I can tell you uh, anyway, it's what okay. amendments have been done today. <laughs> but <laughs> as politicians, <laughs> as politicians, <laughs> they are allowed to swallow <laughs> their words. Let's touch on the no campaigners. Yes, yes, yes. Um, do you think that they will be able to convince Kenyans in the, um, so that they can be able to, you know, reject this BBI. Ram, you want my honest opinion? Yes, honestly. Give us your stand. My honest opinion about the purported no campaigners, purported. their non-status. This is an issue that Kenyans have raised. Mm -hmm. Kenyans have had a consensus and they have said, yeah. we want more money to the villages, to the counties. We want the issue of two-thirds gender resolved once and for all. We want fair representation based on the quality of vote. We want to strengthen judiciary. We want to end corruption. And then you come between them and start stopping corruption? Mata Karua, please. Boni, Fazmwange, please. David Ndi, 
these are jokes. Let's give Kenyans an opportunity to effect the constitution and allow its implementation to be easy by amending the gaps that we have seen has a challenge in implementation. Do the no campaigners have a, have a chance? They are non-starters. I would argue that mm. with the current shift of the deputy president to a yes camp, camp we are adding to a non-contested referendum. Even if maybe at that time as Kenya Youth Alliance we would reach a consensus and say that we are not supporting or we are supporting, the no camp, the no camp will really have a long way to go. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, bring up this to, uh, this is a comment, Jerry. Uh, Sheila and Jerry are saying, I reject BBI. I'm, su I'm surprised that the Punguza Mizigo guy, Mr. Okango, that he wants to add Mizigo to Hustler Nation of uh, Prime Minister two deputies, that is just a state capture of the mm. big five tribes. So sad that the wage bill will be doubled. We are not in a war, I reject. Correction. Yes. The Prime Minister shall be a member of parliament who is getting emoluments from member being a member of parliament. The cabinet shall be mixed. In fact, the constitution amendment says may. The president might decide all of them are members of parliament. So they only earn from the being member of parliament. Mm. Number two, the deputy PMs shall be cabinet members. And therefore, there is no way that people start arguing that that executive has expanded to an extent that now they're running more. And this is why we must tell Kenyans, mm. don't listen to what the politicians are lying about out there. Listen to this document and read it and listen to the people that are telling the truth. And I'm telling you the yeah, truth that as that clause mm -hmm. provides that the PM, the deputy PMs, PM shall be a member of parliament, the DPMs shall be cabinet. So they only earn one emolument. And the condition today in Article 77 mm -hmm. says that you shall not earn more. I mean, you shall not have. Um, you shall not earn more than what you are earning from uh, from from being a state of. Jazeera. As YKA, as Kenya Youth Alliance, what we would focus on is engaging consultants and finance guys to understand the ramification of such issues. Mm. Because I cannot speak from a political angle and say they don't affect. Because they must affect even if it is 1%. Even if it's one, one per, and that one percent matters. That one percent. Now I, I want us to bring um, a close to this conversation tonight. Uh, thank you very much, um, Frederick Okango, for your time, and uh, Cornelius Chesire. It has been a pleasure having you tonight. Thank you, uh, I wonder what is happening in Tado Alliance. <laughs> Even uh, really, uh, uh, what is happening in Tado Alliance? <laughs> we are very democratic. We are progressive, <laughs> and that's why we believe in change. Party Alliance was meant to bridge the gap between two hey. extremes. That is where we are. But can, can, can I understand? understand? You don't have a stand. By January or February, we'll give you a stand. But, but, uh, but uh, I really, January. I want to... Did that we Alliance submit the submissions to BBI? The Yes. March at 12 noon. For the second process, <laughs> but so not the first process. That the first process, the you can remember your uh, conversation <laughs> tonight. It has been a pleasure having you. Uh, from today, to make sure that you tune again, tune in again next week, 7 p.m. Uh, as from 8 p.m. every Tuesday, right here on the stand. My name is Ram Maguko. That brings us to the end of, of this conversation. God bless you. God bless the work of your hands. The stand continues next week on Tuesday. Have a good night.